In the last video, we arrived at an expression for the scattering amplitude in uh, our scattering stationary states. This, uh, in general, depends on the wave function itself, which also depends on the scattering amplitude. So we have a bit of a circular problem. Uh, however, we have a second expression for our scattering stationary state which depends on this Green's function, uh, uh, an integral of the Green's function and the potential with our solution. And what we're going to do is develop uh, a perturbative treatment that will allow us to approximate this wave function so that we can plug in that approximation over here and calculate our scattering amplitude without needing to know the full solution. So to a first approximation, this is what we'll, uh, we'll call the zeroth order approximation. We're going to assume that the incident particles are coming in with uh, such a high kinetic energy relative to the energy and the potential that our total wave function isn't very much affected by the scattering process. Okay, so we're assuming that the kinetic energy of the incident particles is much greater than the energy, the, the potential energy describing our, our scattering target so that our wave function is approximately equal to the incident wave function which is e to the ki dot r. And this is what we'll call uh, psi zero for the zeroth order approximation. If we need to do better than this, then a first order approximation of psi, which we'll call psi one, this will be a contribution from the incident uh, wave function. Plus a correction term that involves plugging in our zero third approximation into this integral equation. And we'll see what this represents physically in a moment. The second order approximation, psi two. This is contribution from the incident particles. Plus this should be prime over here. Plugging in our first order approximation into this integral equation over here. So this psi one is this whole psi one over here. So that in general, nth order approximation is you plug in the n minus one approximation. So that in general, we have that our wave function will be given by the following expression. Okay, so in the first integral equation, we're plugging in uh, the incident wave function. So this is saying 
that the, uh, the scattering doesn't affect our wave function very much. To second order, we plug in psi one. This itself is given is another integral. And the moment this is just going to look like changing variables of integration. But this has a very important physical significance. This is uh, integrated with respect to our prime, okay, and so on. This continues on to however many orders we need to calculate. The first Born approximation, uh, which is what we'll cover in this course, involves just taking these first two terms and approximating our wave function. This will allow us to approximate the scattering amplitude and solve our scattering problem. Okay, so we keep the first two terms, which are uh, these ones over here. Okay, so that's the first born approximation. In that case, we have an expression for the scattering amplitude. So this is our expression for the scattering amplitude in the first born approximation. We'll look at this a bit more carefully, uh, but first uh, I wanted to explain what each one of these terms signifies, what their physical interpretation is in the next video.